So I'm going to run through the uh, basic warm-up. Uh, warm-ups are uh, sort of a, uh, depending on the instructor, they might emphasize different things. So we have quite a range that we could do, uh, which a full warm-up, uh, I mean, could go on forever. But uh, generally speaking, if we did a full warm-up, it would be about you know 20 minutes. Uh, so I'll do an abbreviated warm-up just so you can... Uh, get a little bit of the background of what's going on, if I can think of explaining it, and something you can uh, do at home. Uh, these days, too, uh, the idea of stretching uh, is starting to decline a little bit. Uh, to get ready for any activity, they recommend doing a portion of that activity to get warmed up. So uh, less and less, I think, we're doing stretching, but if it's uh, something that feels good to you, I know a lot of stretches feel good to me, uh, then do that. Uh, I've mentioned this in other videos that if you uh, see an instructor doing something that you can't do, uh, don't try to do it. It's a time for you to tr tune into your own body. Okay? Check yourself out. Be present with your body. See how it feels, how to connecting to the ground and everything around. Okay? So that's the most important thing. Uh, don't try to match the uh, instructor. And, you know, an old guy like me can't do it, some of the stuff I used to do. So if you can do a, a fuller stretch or fuller range, then you go ahead and you do that. You know, if your uh, musculature and skeletal system allows that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a short warm-up that's for me uh, that maybe will be beneficial uh, when we start to uh, reconnect to our training. So it's something you can do at home. So... We've considered we've doing a bow in, okay? Bowed in, we're bow to each other, and then we'll start in with breathing, always starting in with breathing. We start in with breathing and we end with breathing, okay? Just to calm ourselves, center ourselves, uh, both at the beginning and at the end, okay? So. Okay, you can refer to other videos for uh, what's going on with the breathing, different forms, everything like that. Okay, so first of all, a lot of ways we can start out. We could start out with the feet or the necks, but I'm going to start out wide, <clears throat> starting to stretch through the major muscles, the quads and the hamstrings. Okay? Again, with your own tuning into your own body. I don't want to go out beyond my toes. I want to keep my heel down, heel down there, then. Other side. Okay, and I'll turn, have a 45 degrees and 45 degrees to be able to stretch in through here, okay? Stretch in through the inside of the knee, not to excess. Okay, then switch. Okay, it's up to you if you want to do any kind of, you know, movement with your hands and all just to add to your balance and all but the main thing is we're starting to warm up our muscles down below okay then your hips are squared off feet have a little bit of a pigeon toed feeling okay so kind of like that okay back heels up so if you 
want your hip to be squared off, you have to push your heel up, okay? <clears throat> and you're stretching through the heel, through the Achilles tendon, getting your knees a little bit more opened up. Okay? And karateka, I know that that's to be able to launch my Gary front kick. Okay, it's so all set to go. Okay, other side. Okay, then. Okay, just to loosen up. Okay, dropping a little bit just to open things up. Okay, stretch through the back of the ribs the spine. Another method of this is to have your thumb down rather than fingers down. So get a different stretch through your ribs. And then also, and you can stretch your inner thighs out. Keep them pressed out as you start to come up. Okay, then toes up, stretch through the hamstrings. Okay, feet together, okay, or knees together, really. Okay, rotate one way, then the other, then this way, then the other, then opposite. Stretching through the back of the hips, then together. Okay, a little bit wide. Hook your fingers. Then bend your knees. Roll up with each cervical. And next. And side to side. Back, forth. Then around, but don't go all the way around. Just pass. Just here for safety reasons for your neck. Don't go all the way around. So don't continue, right? You can also <clears throat> do these next stretches. Okay, and while I'm at it, if you do this, <clears throat> you hook your fingers, thumbs at the base of your skull, okay? It's usually a very uh, tight spot, okay, for a lot of people. So you can give yourself a massage along the base of your skull by pressing your hands into your head for a base. Okay, and then Okay, if you want also to continue with that, put your hand on your shoulder, hold this elbow, okay, and then draw it down. Okay, other side. Start to open up the top of the trapezius muscles. Okay. Then small circles with the shoulders, one way, then the other. Then big movement, and the other way. I remember years ago, someone was leading class, they said to have your arms touch your ears. Uh, they had very narrow shoulders. <laughs> So for me to do that, it's not natural. So again, you tune into whatever is natural for you. 
then we crisscross. You can feel free to start to slap yourself a little bit. There's more of this in some of the warm-ups where we wake ourselves up than crisscross. Then alternate. Feel it come from your hips. Then both hands, feeling of flinging away, letting everything go. And then shake it down. And toes and ankles. So you move your toes around, not just foot, but move through your toes. Open it up, okay? Stretch through the top of the metatarsal. Bones on top of your foot. Okay. Now if you want, you can stretch a little bit more with that. Then and shake it out. Okay, other side. Okay, and we do our wrist stretches. So again, there's a separate video for these, but one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's ikyo, okay, now nikyo. One, two, three, four, five. Ich, ni, san, chi, go. Okay, sankyo. Five, then continue it. One, two, three, four, five. Other hand. One, two, three, four, five. Walking it out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Do a variety of positions so you open up everything in your shoulders. Okay, through your arm. Okay. Next one. Palm is up. Stretch. Two, three. Four, can cross your body, bring it back, straight up so your palm is up, then switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Then Kotagaishi. Two, three, four, five. And again, you can just draw it straight down, or you start to do a variety of positionings to open it up in different ways. Palms together, interlock your fingers, stretch through your knuckles, okay. rotate your wrists. This way. And shake it out. Okay, and I'll do a couple of these uh, kneeling warm-ups as well. So <clears throat> from Seize, you can certainly do these sort of things, do EQ exercise. Okay, and what we'll do generally is to <clears throat> open up the knees some, stretch one arm through, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of allergies, so I'm <laughs> having to cough a little bit. So I'm rotating my shoulder along the mat, and I'm turning my arm and hand over with it. Okay, then a final stretch through. Goes right through my back to my other hip. Okay, other side. And then just to relax. Okay, then. <clears throat> And feet together. Rock back and forth. I'll move my feet out a little to get additional stretch through the back of my hips. And bring them back in again. Okay. 
one way than the other. Okay, slapping to start to bring the blood up, invigorate. Toes stretching through again, rotating the ankle one way than the other. Then I walk thumbs along the reflex point of the spine. Okay, this is your spine for reflexology. And you can find any of the spots you might want to work as well. Then a couple methods of uh, waking this up, you know, hitting this way, hitting this way. I prefer the slapping method. Okay, then shake it out. Then stretch again if you want. Other side. Okay, then going back, <clears throat> relax into the mat. Hips rock back and forth. Okay, so if you want now, you can push off your heels so you move your spine up and down along the mat, this way. Okay. You can also do this with your legs out and from your heels. When your knees are up and you're doing it, you can start to let your knees go from one side to the other. Deeper and deeper. And let it come back to the middle and rock. And you can let it stop. Let it hum there. Okay, so then one angle over your other knee, draw that down, let yourself relax into it. As the knee gets further, you can walk your foot out to get it down further. Okay, then other side. Get to the front side of the hip. Okay, next one will be one leg out straight along the mat, relaxed. Okay. Reach across <clears throat> to be able to hold this other knee that's up, okay, and draw that knee down. Okay. I recommend letting this arm relax behind your back. So now you're stretching through the back of your hip. Okay, other side. This, by the way, <clears throat> a couple years ago, I had uh, four tears, three rotator cuff tears in this shoulder and a bicep tendon tear. And I couldn't reach my hand behind my back and I couldn't raise my arm up very high. So 
the physical therapy the doctor had me go through made it worse. So I just came back to regular training. And this kind of a stretch is what <laughs> rehabbed mainly my shoulder, okay? To be able to come up and touch like that. Okay, whereas before I couldn't get it behind my back. So for what it's worth, if you wind up with any shoulder issues, okay, just get into normal opening it up, you know, with our normal warm up and all. If you have any uh, carpal tunnel issue issues, try out all the wrist stretches. I hear a lot of success with uh, those stretches. Um, and then from here, we might go into our uh, back rolls. So I've got one leg tucked, okay? Other leg is up, uh, foot down, okay? Hands relaxed, okay? I'll roll back, switch feet, and do a light little kick. Hakama Sabaki again, like we use Hakama Sabaki, Hakama movement when we're uh, going into uh, Seiza. So get your Hakama out of the way. Hakama Sabaki for back rolls is this hand would give a little tuck. This. Okay, just to make sure the Hakama stays underneath you. So there's a lot of different ways we'll do the back rolls, different directions, anything like that. Leave that for another video. Okay, once we're done with that, we, we might be coming forward also to stretch. Say, so put your hand down, your palm down, use your elbow to push your knee out, stretch more through the inner thigh. Back. And then we'd stand up. Okay, we get ourselves squared away. <clears throat> 